I haven't got ages to be here and it's mega windy so I'm just going to do a quick bit of hoeing off some of the weeds them out. you can see the stuff has really started to germinate so the soil has started to warm up but I think that some of these will benefit from a little bit of protection so I've got a little bit of fleece and some plumbing pipe so I'm going to put that over to protect some and then I'm just going to try and get the worst of the weeds off in this area so that I can then put in uh, a pea frame because my peas I really should have been planting about ages ago it's just that I haven't had much of an opportunity so they're probably going out a bit too late I can start some more and then I've got the frame ready to be able to put them straight in once they are ready so um, I may as well use the time that I've got today and do that so I've got I'm not sure how long I've got I mean that's a recipe for staying down here longer than I intend to but I intend to stay down here for about an hour for now so let's see let's see where we get to I'm hoping that this is just a quick shower and I can swerve it in here. I would love to have somewhere where I could actually have a bit of a tea break or a shed just to sit or a polytunnel to be in when it's wet and cold. But for now, I'm just going to do the rest to prep this area so I can get some more stuff into the ground. But hopefully the soil doesn't get properly wet because otherwise there's not really much more I can do today. Don't know whether I'm going to be able to do much more work in that pretty annoying. Weather really can't make its mind up. I've got that bit. Oh, you can't really see. Uh, got that bit a lot better now. Got some first earlies that I haven't got in the ground yet that I might put there and then my pea frame. Hopefully this shower doesn't hold up for too long. Looks like there's some blue skies over there where the wind's blowing so I might get away with doing a little bit more. Right, so there's that one there. It's a bit shorter where I thought I was cutting a piece of this and I wasn't actually cutting the end that I thought I was cutting. So I cut one a bit too short but I'm going to hold the uh, fleece off, off the plant. I've just put it over the onions so that they don't get battered by the wind. And as far as I know, they, they're pretty cold hardy, but I imagine that if you can create an environment where it's warmer, because the day length is really long, uh, now that we're into middle of April, uh, I want to take advantage of that. And so I'm just protecting them a bit from the wind. I could probably do the same thing with the broad beans because although they're doing okay they're sustaining a little bit of uh, pest damage but it's more just that they're doing okay with it they are getting battered a little bit because it's pretty exposed to this side uh, and it's been it's been pretty windy because I think it's fairly typical of early spring now apparently young shoots of this in small quantities taste similar to asparagus so I'm going to go home and cook them before I come back with my peas and that will be the first crop she had something to eat off the allotment. Probably going to be shit, but still, it's a little win, and I'll take it. I've just cooked them in a little bit of butter and let them 
Whoa, they gone soft. That's quite nice. That one's a bit gritty. Mm. I don't think you're supposed to eat too many of them. There's a slight bitterness. I think most of the nice flavour is probably from the butter. They don't really taste like asparagus. Mm. So I got this bunch of uh, potatoes and some of them are just one of them I just left whole they are first earlies they're a variety called swift which are pretty easily available from most places uh, and they're called swift because they crop really really quickly apparently in as little as eight weeks they can be ready to harvest from putting them in the ground and most of the places that I looked said not to cut potatoes that are smaller than about two inches well this one is about an inch and a half maybe but a potato like a few other root vegetables can grow from any of these eyes so this little thing or this one so technically if you cut them you can still get another potato plant uh, but you would be getting two in this case or some of them I cut them even smaller and I just let them chit a little bit not because there's any uh, known benefit to chitting it's just that I wanted to let them scab over a little bit before I put them in the ground so I didn't want them to go and make like these where it was in the shop like this where if they're kept in the dark they'll sprout and that it puts a lot of energy into putting out little white roots which have now started to green up so these ones aren't too bad but that was what I was trying to avoid was that was avoiding them basically just putting on loads and loads of uh, white shoots that get really really long so I just chitted them by putting them into the windowsill but I'm intrigued to see because I have grown potatoes accidentally before as lots of people have in compost bins where you put your potato peelings in and obviously a potato peeling is a lot less significant than this and some of the videos that I saw online where people did experiments with putting in cut potatoes the plant doesn't grow out of the ground as quickly as one with a whole potato but the yield seemed to be fairly similar i.e. the yield for a cut potato was similar to one from an entire potato which would mean that if you were to cut the potato you'd actually be getting nearly double the yield and I'm not going to be doing this as a proper experiment or anything I'm just going to put the smaller cut pieces towards one end of the row uh, sequentially and then have the the biggest one nearest to the road end of the plot and there's loads of other variables that I'm not going to be able to control for but it should be fairly similar because it's a fairly open site so there shouldn't be any of them that are getting more or less sunlight than others all growing in the same soil and I'm just going to incorporate a little bit of uh, garden compost into the soil. You can see that it's hailing outside now, which makes me feel good that I got that uh, fleece onto the onions because I'm sure they wouldn't appreciate getting battered with hails. Allow this to subside. What I also have, and for some reason I don't really know why I planted them in this tray, but I've got these peas that are desperate to go out. Um, there's not that many in there, but it's going to be a start and I can sow some more peas which germinate really quickly because they're a nice big seed 
So I've got some guttering now and I'm going to sow some in the guttering because I could direct sow them out here, but I don't really know. I imagine there's a fair few rodents and things that are likely to eat them and birds. I could try and keep the birds off with some netting or uh, something like that, but the rodents, I don't think I'd stand a chance. So I just find it easier to germinate them in a greenhouse and then without hardening them off I just bring them bring them down here uh, and it always seems to work reasonably well with peas in my experience so that's what I'm going to do if this rain subsides which is not guaranteed but it does look like there's some blue skies that way So it probably could be a little bit better, <laughs> but it's got a structure and there's some peas in there and we'll see whether they get absolutely demolished by pests trying to get at them or not. Um, and I'm going to go and put some more, sow some more in some gutters so that I've got some backup stuff and also some things that I can then successionally sow so that I get a crop that's spread out a little bit rather than just getting them all at once. Loving the dedication here, mate. Loving the oh, dedication. Yeah. <laughs> Look at you go, bro. Oh, oh, and we have a little GoPro. Oh, sorry, am I speaking too loud? No. No, you're not going to video me. Okay. Why not? <laughs> this wouldn't work. Which one's that one? This is, uh, this is Shaq. No, everybody, uh, my plot's just over there. <laughs> no, you got your channel out as well. Don't do my channel. Which one's that? Action, what, action 3? It's just, yeah, it's an action camera. No, but what do you call it? You call it Action 3? Uh, DJI. Oh, yours is, yeah, too much money. I've got a cheaper version called the Castle. Like yeah, getting somewhere with it. I'll what just put some more uh, potatoes in there. Yeah, I was going to bring some in, but it's got too wet for me. <laughs> 